The tripod is one of the most basic and essential stabilization tools for filmmaking, and chances are you probably have one but have only been using it in its intended way, which really can be kind of boring. There are a lot of videos out there on tripod tricks that you may think, huh, that looks cool, but when would I ever do that? Well, I'm gonna show you seven tripod tricks that I actually use when filmmaking. And to prove it, I'm gonna take you through using each of these techniques for a 40 second sequence using only a tripod that I'll show you at the end. And let me know down in the comments which techniques are new to you. Tip number one, the rubber band. When you have big muscles, it can be difficult to make small, precise movements that would come easily to people with smaller muscles. So if you get a rubber band and put it around the handle, you can get smooth, consistent movements from start to finish while panning your camera. And typically it's the starting and stopping of the movement that can be choppy, but a rubber band fixes that for more buttery smooth moves. Tip number two, the gravity tilt. This is simply a process of balancing your camera and adjusting the tilt friction to allow gravity to give you a consistent tilting shot. And you can even use that rubber band to give you a smooth stop to the movement. These consistent tilting shots by hand can be difficult and this will allow you to get a smooth movement throughout the shot. Tip number three, the dolly. To do this shot, you simply collapse one of your tripod legs and lean the tripod forward on two legs while tilting the camera up to keep the subject in the same relative area to mimic a dolly forward. It's not exactly like a dolly since the camera is moving lower, but it's an easy way to add some forward movement. But make sure to have something against the tripod legs so that the tripod doesn't slide backwards on you while tilting. Tip number four, the slider. For this, just get a chair with rolling feet, put your tripod on it, and start rolling while trying to keep your speed as consistent as possible. This will add a cool perspective to your shot and allow you to move further than you'd be able to with the small slider. And if you don't have a rolling chair to do this, you can always throw a blanket on the ground and pull it across the floor at a consistent speed to get the same effect. Tip number five, the shoulder rig. For this technique, you simply put two of the tripod legs on your shoulders and adjust the third leg so that it's firmly against your waist. Then rotate the tripod head 90 degrees and you now have a setup where you have the freedom to easily follow your subject without the shakiness of a handheld shot. And another technique is to collapse all the tripod legs together and put them on your shoulder. I like this way more because it allows for even more freedom of movement and works a lot better for following your subject because you won't get the bounces from the tripod leg against your waist. Though you want to be aware of the tripod legs of your shoulder and uh, be careful where you walk. Tip number six, the steady cam. For this, extend the center column of your tripod if equipped and extend the legs as far horizontally as you can to make the rig more stable. But be aware of how the camera can tilt initially when starting movements while using this technique. And with a bit of practice, you can get some really good stable moving shots that look like you used a steady cam or a gimbal. And another option is to turn the rig over to allow you to do the same thing with a lower angle shot. You can hold the center column or even the legs to control the movement. But be aware that your shot will be upside down, so you'll have to flip it 180 degrees in post. Tip number seven, the monopod. For this technique, you simply collapse all the legs together and then extend one to use it like a monopod. However, if your camera rig is too heavy, then your flip locks may not be able to hold the weight and will cause the monopod to slide down on that single leg. But this is a great technique when shooting at any kind of live event where you don't have a lot of time to continually adjust all the legs of your tripod to get multiple angles for your shots. This way you can make quick adjustments and framing for different shots without missing any of the action. And now here's the final sequence using all these techniques. Who wants to make cookies? What? I hope this opened your eyes to some new ways of using your tripod rather than just setting your camera on it. 
And if you want some suggestions on a good video tripod, then check out this other video on the best tripods for beginning filmmaking. And also feel free to join my private Facebook group, link below where I can better answer your filmmaking questions. And if this video was helpful, then please help me out, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you soon.